Hello everyone, it's Bon Yuki here again, and I am making another video. This time it's regarding the Dreamcast on the OSSC uh, with the latest firmware, which I received uh, about a few days ago, and I'm testing it out now. It's firmware uh, 0 0.77, and it adds a few more modes, a few more features, but uh, the one thing I want to talk about today is how the OSSC is different from all the other products that are out there. Now, this is not me bagging on any other products. It's just that they all handle the Dreamcast peculiar VGA signal um, very straightforward. And it, for years, I thought that was the correct way to do it. But the OSSC now gives me an option that uh, proves everyone and myself wrong. So basically, what the Dreamcast video that comes out is with the VGA it comes out is, uh, I believe, 640 by 480. And the TVs that have a VGA input or the... Not the scalers, but like um, like some of the other Dreamcast products out there that take that video signal, say, hey, it's 640 by 480, and it pretty much gives that to the TV. And that's what I have it right now on this screen. You'll see right now, you'll see it in the 640 by 480 as what the TV expects it to be. And it's hard to see on an OLED, but if you look at the image, you know, it's... Kind of pillar box. The aspect ratio looks a little off. Um, that's, you know, at, at first glance, you'll be like, well, okay, it looks okay. But, it, you know, you start looking at other images, it definitely does not look right. Um, the black bars on the side are really, really large. So, you know, for years, I thought, okay, that's just the way these things handle. It. And here's a good image. Look at that. Look how big the bars are. Now, let's take a look if I switch it to the VESA mode. And you'll see that the black bars are now, you know, they're there, of course, because it's, it's only 4 by 3 But now you're actually getting 4 by 3 See how much small the bars are? It's a big, big difference. And this is what the image is actually supposed to look like. So in the OSSC... There is a mode um, called 480p in sampler. And most of the times, you'll leave it as DTV 480p. But like I said, because the Dreamcast has that special VGA, VGA signal, you're going to want to leave it at VESA 640x480. And it'll give you the true aspect ratio of what it's supposed to be. Now, right now, uh, this TV, this is the LG... 65 inch Charlie 7 and I am running this in 40p line double so it's a 960 mode um, you don't really see the scan lines at this mode so you might as well just have them off but um, there was some confusion out there and people were saying oh the, this product is better this product is better all these products are better than the OSSC and it's just I think people aren't reading the documentation or they're not testing out the OSSC and seeing how there's such a plethora of settings in it. They could throw people off. So, yes, the OSSC is hard to come by. Um, it's not an inexpensive device. I, I got mine over a year ago, for, you know, close to $200, around $180. Uh, but it does more than just Dreamcast. But look how wonderful this is in 960p and the proper aspect ratio. I mean, the difference is jarring. It's going to be hard to see on a YouTube video, but believe me, now this is what it's supposed to be. This is a true 4x3 resolution, whereas before, you just didn't get that. You were missing pixels, and you know a lot of people just live with it. I mean, I did for years. I, I thought, oh, okay, well, VGA signals like that. I, But it was just the TV's not handling it properly, and uh, now these new products on the market, I don't really want to call them out, but... You know, they know who they are. They're just taking that 40p signal and throwing it out there. And, you know, they're not really fixing the situation. But thankfully, Marx, who invented the OSSC, did. So I just wanted to give that a little, you know, PSA out there for you Dreamcast fans that are looking. I was like, oh, man, you know, should I get the OSSC? It's the only device that I know of that can give you such low input delay and give you this nice 4x3 proper 640 by 480p uh, output. Now, there are other ways to get someone to give you a clean VGA image with a VGA box, and then you put it through a frame meister. But as we know, the frame meister does have delay, does slow things down, doesn't have you know the color spacing as 
as great as the OSC. And it's also about double the price of an OSSC because the frame ISOs are getting hard to get as of uh, late June 2017. Anyway, folks, I just want to give this video out. So if you have any questions or comments on how to get your stuff set up, uh, believe me, I've spent a lot of time on this thing. It's well worth it. Uh, I still use this product pretty much. It's it's great. I mean, it's great for all my consoles. And there's my Dreamcast there, Dreamcast right there. So. Anyway, folks, have yourself a good one.